The Tallest Treehouse by Ellie McKay. Fairies are sometimes easy to miss, but Mip was not one of them. La la la, she could be heard singing above the sound of the waterfall. One day she was flying around Inglis Falls, looking for something to do, when she spotted her best friend, Pip. Hey Pip, what are you reading? It's a book on architecture. Buildings? I love to build things, Pip. We could build tree houses. Building a tree house requires a great deal of planning and hard work, Mip. Pip, I'm going to make the tallest tree house ever. I challenge you to a tree house race. Whoever makes the best tree house by sundown wins. The twigs of trees snapped. Mip sawed and hacked. She carried and thwacked. But Pip just sat on his rock and thought. Then he drew and measured and thought some more. Mip zoomed around. Her tree house was already taking shape. She stopped for a moment to admire her work. That is when she noticed Pip was still sitting on the rock. Why haven't you started? You'll never win this way. I'm planning. See, these are my blueprints and they are almost ready. Then I can start building. Mip glanced at Pip's drawings and then at her own tree house. I'm going to make mine even taller. While Mip zipped around adding boards here and there, Pip found a sturdy sapling and began to build. With this tower, I'll win for sure. Gusts of wind sent sprays of mist over the rocks and leaves began to dance. Pip leaned into the wind. He looked at Mip's tower and began to worry. Mip, in this wind, I think you should tie down your tower. No, it would take too long. You're just trying to slow me down so you have a chance of winning. Even though it began to rain, Mip kept hammering, determined to win. The wind roared and the tower began to tremble, creak, and sway. And then the worst happened. Pip! Boom! The tower came crashing down. Mip zoomed left and right, up and down, searching for Pip. Pip, are you all right? Mip, help, my wing is stuck. Mip tied a rope around Pip's leg and with lightning speed, she freed her friend. Thanks for working so fast to save me, Mip. Pip, I'm so glad you are okay. I should have listened to you. You were right about the tower. They wanted the wind to settle down and the rain to end. That is when Mip noticed something. Not all was lost. The tower looked like a bridge. It connects our tree houses. What if we work together to make one tree house to share with the Mip's vision and imagination and Pip's careful planning? They came up with a new set of blueprints in no time. Together they worked tirelessly until sundown, and when the tree house was finished, it was spectacular. A winning piece of architecture. Pip, we are the best team ever. Mip, that is exactly what I was thinking.
here they are, reading a book.